Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again and I am back with Happy Meal today. I had a parcel delivered this morning. I have opened it to have a look, I know who it's from. Let me show you. This is a card. It's a birthday card. My birthday is not till Sunday. I think it's Sunday the 21st. <laughs> I'm not, not even sure myself actually. I think it's Sunday the 21st. It used to be easy to remember my birthday because it was the same as our Queen Elizabeth. And I always bragged when I seen I had the same birthday as Queen Elizabeth. But I don't brag anymore because our Queen is not with us anymore. But anyway, this is from Emma. And... There's some things in here, she says, she sent some coasters that she's made, which she sent them to me before. I've had quite a lot of coasters off, lovely coasters off Emma. And she says, just thought I would do a few. Here's some of the cotton for you. I won't be using the rest. And keep the videos coming. I do enjoy watching them. Take care. Um, so that's my birthday card of Emma. Thank you for that, Emma. That's going to take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Put it on there. And I opened the bag, but I haven't had a look to see what was actually inside. I just saw the card thing for the back so to see what else they sent me. And all this course I did, yeah, she says they're sending me courses. It's one of those Hessian bags. You get a lot of these bags when you get wool from, especially from wool warehouse, I think. Also, there's quite a few. Oh, there's, there's sweets in here as well. I couldn't see them until the bag then. Oh, I'll have to open these up. I'll go with the sweets first. You know, my subscribers know how to keep my weight up, don't you? Oh, there's... Walker's my favourite. Walker's treacle toffees. <laughs> These are bad too. Oh, 150 grams. The little bags I buy in home bargains are only about 100 grams, I think. There's a bag of treacle toffees. Oh, there's quite a few bags in here. It's a bag of the all walkers, yes, yeah, the all walkers, licorice toffees. And I've got one of my hairs uh, hanging on here. Mint toffees, I never knew they do, I've never seen those ones. Oh, I'll have to have a look for those when um, they only seem to have the, the, the three kinds in um, where I go for them. There's quite a few bags of sweets in here. <laughs> Another treacle toffee. That's one, two, three, four. There's another one in here. Five. <laughs> so I have two bags of treacle toffees. Two bags of licorice. And one bag of mint. Never had the mint ones before. I do like mint toppings. I bought them another kind before. The way I put those out the way. And check in there. There's a bag inside the bag. <laughs> That's one bag, and then a bag inside that one. Oh, I'll have to take them all out, they're all loose here. So they are, I think they're all cotton because she said she was saying, she said in the in the letter she was giving me the cotton that was left over. Yes, I do, they feel like cotton. They are peach. Set of four peach ones. 
That's my favourite flower. That's the one I do on most of mine. It's a lovely pattern, that one. I do it with all different colours. I change the colours around in the... And there's four. Oh, there's not that... That's four peach ones. There's four peach ones. No, I thought there was only three there. There's four pink. Yeah. Four pink ones and four light pale turquoise. So that's three sets of coasters. I think Emma likes making these. She often sends me coasters. So I have three sets of coasters there. I'll put those up on my eBay shop uh, as soon as I get a minute. I'll wait until probably tomorrow when my offer comes back on again. It comes on every fortnight and at the moment I've been getting 70% off their selling fees. I used to get 80%, it dropped down to 70%. So I think it'll probably keep dropping down every so often, probably until it ends up with nothing back to the normal price. But I, it was 70% the last time, so that's what I'll put those up on um, AB for that, to get the 70% off. And then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven balls of this cotton. I'll open that bag there. It's Stylecraft Naturals Bamboo and Cotton. Oh, I've never had any of bamboo before. 60% bamboo and 40% cotton. Don't know what the class bamboo was. And must just be because bamboo is a natural, be a natural fibre, isn't it? Well, anyway, that's what they are. And that's, that's like a lemon. I don't know if it what colour it is. Oh, buttermilk. Like a, a lemon, like buttermilk, that one. Whoops, that's fell on the floor now. And then there's a... Uh, all the same, they all are the same brand. And this one is coral. That's another one of my favourite colours. I have to move those things off my table or they'll fall off when I put them on. That's it, like the other one did. And that one is like a plum, I think I would say. Oh no, it's rose. That one's rose. That one is nutmeg. It's quite fine, this cotton. I don't know whether it's equivalent of four ply or... I'm looking to see the instructions on the... 3.5 millimetre hook. I think it's nearly, probably near enough to um, four ply, I think, because it is quite, quite fine. You look at it. It says Stylecraft, the Spectrum Yarns brand. Doesn't exactly tell you the, there's 250 metres. Oh, it is 100 grams. And it just says the... I don't know that it's got anything on inside on the label here. Oh, it's got 4 millimetre needles or 3.5 millimetre hook. So it must be the equivalent of double knitting then if it's 4 millimetre needles. Just it looks quite fine. I'll find out when I'll do a little swatch with something and it'll tell me what what it is. And this is another apricot. That one's called apricot. Um, where's the name on this one? Surf. C. C colour surf. And the last one. 
Sea foam. Oh, it's another sea colour. It's a lovely colour, that one. So that's six. Oh, that fell on the floor. So that's six naturals, bamboo and cotton. So I'll have to thought. One thing I am going to do with um, one of these, some, something to do with cotton, is a cover for my hot water bottle I bought. I put it in my bed just for my feet. So I don't have to put a pair of socks on when I'm in bed because my feet are always cold when I'm in bed. But I don't like wearing socks because I like the air at my feet. And that's what I bought the hot water bottle for, for because I have trouble with my back as well with having arthritis. And I thought it would be handy if I was having any trouble to put behind me here. And then I thought it would be handy to put in my bed, I put right at the bottom of the bed. But I have to make sure the water's not too hot when I put it in, or else I wouldn't be able to put my feet on it. So that would be handy. I'll make a, a cover for my hot water bottle. I'll put these back in the bag. Oh, there's actually seven. I thought there were six. No, there's actually seven. I do for my bags when I start making the little um, notion pouches again, when I get round to them. I'll put those in there. So that's my happy meal from Emma today. And I have been doing a little bit. I'm going to put my heater thing on my knee because it's quite... I haven't got my heating on, but it is quite... Not very warm today. That's it. I have a little remote control for it there. <laughs> put the heat on. Because I'm starting to feel a little bit cool. But I have been knitting. I've done... Have the back and I finished the, the front on this one. That's what I did yesterday. I didn't do any of my own last night. I thought I want to finish, get this one um, finished. But I've got more time to do little things like this now because I've finished the crochet bags that I was doing. So that's what I'm doing in the morning now. I'm doing um, these little things like this to get them sorted. And this will be... It's the start of another pattern. This is for the Blackberry one. And this is a 26. Because my pattern that I have out at the moment only goes up to 24. So I've started. This is a 26. This is the first size on a, a larger pattern. I'm going to do a 26, 28 and a 30. Maybe it's just the three sizes because they are still children's sizes. I'm not sure about the 32 because it does take a lot longer to knit these ones. And I do have to, to knit them. To work out the sizes so this one's a 26 and i have started on the back down there i've started on the other front it'll not take long for this one because this part of it's already done so that's that bit done <laughs> i've got all the wire wrapped all around this this one, because I'm using two cables to knit this one. So I have to find somewhere to put one cable when I'm not knitting. Put that cable down. As you can see, this one's coming on. I've done, I've done a little bit more of this one yesterday. I'm going to get my wool in a knot there. Uh, as you can see it's coming, getting longer. I'm not sure how long it is now. I normally do these to, to measure 30 inches. It's usually 26 wide by 30 inches long. I have my, I have my tape measure around somewhere. There it is. Tell me how much I've done up to now. I use my tape measure, you know. One of those little stitch holder things. I put it through the tape measure and when I want to, to wind it up, I just wind it like that and push it on under the one little end of it and the other like that. And then I just go around again and that keeps it. 
instead of it ra unraveling all over the place. I do have one of those ones you pull out, but I think it's stretched. I don't think it's actually good measurement now. I'm just using that one. I'll measure this to see how much I've done of the blanket. Measures 17 inches. And for 17 inches, I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty, twenty-three times three rows. At sixty something, and I started off with um, six rows. I think it was of two, four, six. Six rows of um, garter on the uh, the bottom, so it's just a little bit more than halfway. Now put that to one side because I'll be knitting that later on after I've had my lunch. So put those balls in with it. And I didn't get any more of my own done last night because I spent a little bit of time on the Blackberry one instead. But I'll be doing a little bit of that probably tonight after coming from my bingo. I'm going to my bingo tonight and I'll do a little bit. Usually I have a couple of hours before I go to bed when I come in because I usually get in just after 10. So I'll do a little bit knitting on my own, I think, when I come in tonight. But in the meantime... I was telling you about my Google AdSense account and I put a form in yesterday and it was rejected again. And then I found this one. You can see the, the thing, it's HM, HM Revenue and Customs or HMRC. It was my notice to complete a self-assessment tax return. This was last year when the tax year had just finished. Uh, it was dated to April 2023. So this is an official tax thing. It has my tax reference number on it. And it is from HMRC. And it has my name and address and everything. So I sent this in and this has been rejected as well. <laughs> now there is an online form you have to go on to HMRC which is the last resort for me. I didn't want to have to go through that because you have to go on to your um, government site and go on to the HMRC thing and put all your, um, your numbers and everything to get onto the site and apply for a, a proper certificate of tax residency. But I have been Googling it and there are thousands of comments Googling it where that proper thing from HMRC has been rejected by the island, Google Island. All I can see is they want us to pay tax double tax, tax in their country and tax in our country and it's such a, a lot of trouble just why can't they just do what the United States did? We just filled a form in online from them and they accepted that we were in the UK and we don't pay tax to their country <laughs> but I am just that's my last resort. I'm going to wait and see what happens when I my payment is due in the next few days, which I have over £500 to pick up from them. If there's any tax taken off, I will apply to the HMRC for the, to get the, um, the proper thing from them and see what happens from that. And if they reject that as well, I will be turning off monetization and just going on to... Um, just making videos without making any money but um, it will take quite some time for me to get my rent and my council tax paid by the government because of the amount of money I have in the bank because of what I have been earning from um, Google from you YouTube and I have to wait until that money comes down far enough till I only have a certain amount left in the bank and then the government will pay my rent and my council tax or my 
pension does not pay for my rent. There's not enough money to pay for my rent and council tax. And so that's what I'm going to do because I am sick to death of sending in things into this. They accepted the very first thing I sent in was my national insurance card, a photo of that. And they accepted it. And then later on, they sent another thing asking for more information. So I don't know why they accepted it in the first place if they, they weren't going to accept it. It's, it's so annoying. But it's not just the UK. All these things I've been Googling, it's all countries all over the world. They're all having the same trouble I am having, trying to get there if they have a tax treater, treaty or even if they don't, even if they don't have a tax treaty and they have to pay tax. They're still having the same trouble filling out these forms with the Google Ireland. And when they take tax off, they don't take the amount of tax that you would pay in that country. It's 30%, and I don't think their tax is 30%. And I said Northern Ireland, but it's not Northern Ireland, it's Southern Ireland. <laughs> I got my North and South mixed up. But anyway... That's enough, because that's another rant, isn't it? <laughs> Thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you all another time. So bye for now.